So um, our plants have been doing really, really well and a few of them are ready to harvest. So I wanted to do kind of like an, a garden update and um, show me harvesting some of the vegetables. So I'll take you guys outside. It is kind of loud today. There's some people mowing some grass, Elo's barking as usual, and um, it's kind of windy. Anyways, stay tuned. I'm out in my garden today. All right, guys. <laughs> cannot just video. Do, do you concentrate and just do what you're doing. All right, guys. I'm going to give you a little garden tour. Elo won't let me. <laughs> All right. It's so loud out here. This right here is our... <laughs> For real? Eva. This is our tomato plant here, one of them. If you want to come closer and show them some of these tomatoes on there. You got a bunch of them down in there. Um, so yeah, that's one tomato plant. We got another tomato plant over here. It's been really well too. It's got a lot of tomatoes on there. Not quite ready yet, but they're gonna be so good. Um, and then obviously here we've got some broccoli right here. This one's not quite ready to harvest, but it's getting there. And then right here we've got some red onions. All these, we've got four of these right here. Um, and this right here is, this right here is spearmint. It smells so good. It's good for mojitos and all sorts of stuff. This right here is our spinach, which is looking kind of, this is cilantro. And, oh look! Here's a pepper. This looks more like a banana pepper to me. I'm not sure though, it could be a jalapeno. I guess we'll find out when we bite into it. But this right here is what I'm going to be harvesting this morning, Elo. This is our broccoli plant. I'm gonna cut right at the base there. <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah. And then we've also got, so this is the big head obviously, and we've got some little florets coming out right there, and we're gonna hope that they will also produce some more um, broccoli. So this is our other side of our garden. Um, we've got some more tomato plants. These are all tomato plants, and yes, these do have lots of tomatoes in there as well. Um, then this right here is our strawberry plant. I was really excited about getting some strawberries, but I don't know if something's been eating them or what, but I mean, here's one, but it's just one strawberry. That's a pretty good size one and it's just one, but I haven't been able to get any strawberries so far. I don't know why but hopefully that may produce some. Okay, so we got a cucumber here. It's got a lot of flowers on it, which is good. We're just gonna let it do its thing. And then this right here was our zucchini. Look how big this has gotten. Squash or zucchini? Yeah, this is zucchini. Look at the... <laughs> In there, see? You got a nice zucchini growing right there. Squash or zucchini? Zucchini. Oh. You see it's green? Oh, see I've been looking for yellow squash. Well that's the other one. Oh. Um, but yeah, this one's growing some zucchinis in there. And lots of flowers. See all those? Uh-huh. Got the stem. Wow. That's gonna be so good. And then over here, we've got our squash. As you can see, little baby squash on there. So cute. Uh-oh. Ew. That one's got a slug in it. Slug ate it. Let's just toss that. It's kind of like it should be up off the ground or maybe? I don't know. Might need to prop this one up, but 
Here's another one that's been eaten. So, anyways, we're gonna wait for these and super excited about that. I believe these are hot banana peppers. All of these right here. Elo always drops his ball into the garden. We got more broccoli. Check that out. Growing nicely down there. We got, I don't even know how many we have over here, but it's a lot. This one hasn't quite gotten to, oh, oh, that's cauliflower. Look at that. White cauliflower. Yum, yum. Cabbage. Once they turn exciting. into a big ball of cabbage, then it's ready. Red bell peppers, which are my mom's favorite peppers. So those will be super yummy. Then these are your potatoes that you planted, right? Uh -huh. The potato rows. Is that what this is too? Yeah. All potatoes. All right, so in that space over there that we still have in the garden, um, I'm going to, I sprouted all these from little seedlings. I wish I would have videoed that for you guys, but I honestly, this was my first time doing it, so I didn't know <laughs> if it was gonna work or not, but I'm actually pretty pleased. Uh, these are green beans, got some lettuces in here, some cantaloupe, some watermelon, uh, I'm not sure, I don't know, I've kind of lost the tags, but it shall be a surprise to find out what they are. I know some of them, but I don't know all of them. These are beets, look at that red color, it's pretty neat. Beets, um, I think there was some bok choy, um, Brussels sprouts stuff like that so these um, will be going in hopefully within the next week oh look my mom did these these are um, lemon sprouts for a lemon tree which <laughs> probably won't produce lemons for like five years maybe but if I can keep this growing I would love to keep it for five years and then have a lemon tree two lemon trees but anyways, um, that's the garden update. I've also got a few plants upstairs in those pots that I had originally planted. I pretty much transplanted everything to the gardens, but I did leave some um, cauliflower up there and they're doing really well. So I'm gonna move the cauliflower down to that open spot as well. And yeah, I'm just so excited. There's nothing better than harvesting your fresh veggies out of your garden. And if there's one positive of this whole coronavirus stuff, I would say gardening and just try to live more off the land. Listen to all the background stuff every time I try to talk. It's like so loud. If you wanna start your own garden, I highly recommend it because this is the best feeling in the world. So we're gonna, we're gonna cook some of this, but we're also gonna freeze it too. So we have it um, for a while. We just got out to the beach. Um, it's pretty windy out here. Try to get some uh, seashells and go check out the shipwreck down the beach. Seaweed. <laughs> 